Hi again then guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my The Thing playthrough. So, we have, for those who perhaps have short-term memory loss or haven't watched episode 1, just found this guy, he obviously ate too many Doritos, and now we are continuing on. So, it doesn't really look... Oh, he had an icon then, what's going on with him? Ah, he's doing the pigeon head. Okay. So, All right. Select. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Select. Okay, go to stay. Okay, so he's worried. So. Okay, this is out of control. This is out of control. Okay, so let's just make him uh, follow us out of here. Oh yeah, right. Um. So, there must be something else in here, then. So, we can't read that. Aha! See, I get there eventually. <laughs> Compile a five-page report from the autopsy performed on the anomalous corpse that was discovered at the Norwegian outpost. It appears that what we're dealing with is some kind of self-repairing entity that has the ability to morph itself into different biological forms. Access to medical supplies is limited to myself and Gary. 11.38. Okay, That's so... That's the kind of information Whitley was talking about. I gotta find that report. Yeah, I gotta find that report. I gotta make him enough and I can't feel. Okay, so... Zing! Okie dokie, is there anything in here? Okay. So... Now, is something else going to explode? Saving the game. Audio recorders allow you to save your game. Okay, so let's save the game. Because you can guarantee if there's a save point, that means you're probably about to die. So, so let's save it. Wow, this is a long save screen. Okay. So now that we've saved every game data of every game in the time that it could have taken to do that. Right, okay, so we're outside. I don't think I want to go outside just yet. Then again, probably have to go outside. Otherwise, why would that be there? Okay, so let's have a gander. What have we got? What's this? Oh, this cold is killing me. This cold is killing me. <laughs> These temperatures are gonna kill me. I don't know what we're doing here. What is that? Oh, it must be a med kit. Okay. So, the burnt out helicopter from the movie. Let's get back inside for a second then. Don't want them to freeze to death. check on them. As far as I'm aware, you you can only see health, I think. You can't really see cold. So let's go back out here and see what else there is. I'm probably going completely the wrong places, but I've got to explore.
Okay, so there's nothing here, obviously. What appears to be a water tower. Probably not a water tower, though, because I would have thought if that was a water tower, it would just freeze solid. So it doesn't really look like there is much out here. So I guess we'd better go back inside, because I don't want to freeze to death. Okay. So... It doesn't really look like there's much else here. So, am I missing something? Oh, wait a second. What's this? An infected entity has the ability to fragment and survive. It sure does. So if you see any hands walking on their own, run. What on earth is that poster? It looks like a xenomorph. Um, oh, there's another note. There's, they're just full of notes. Somebody was writing a diary up in here. If an infected entity reaches the mainland, global infection will occur in 72,000 hours. Yeah, maybe if it's taking its time. So, is he really dead then? He is now. <laughs> Just to make sure. Uh, probably, no, we already read this. Yeah. Um, you've got mail. I can't see if I'm missing... I don't think I'm missing anything in here now. Well, let's... I must be missing something obvious here. I've got to be missing something obvious. Let's get this over with. Yeah, because I'm sure he'd say that when he deliberately came on this mission. This cold is killing me. So... What am I missing? I am obviously missing something that's staring me in the face. Area looks secure. The area looks secure. Hmm. Interesting camera mode. My whole body's numb. My whole body's numb. Stop complaining. I'll shoot you myself. I've got to be missing something. But, we're almost popsicles, so we need to get back inside. Nope, not down a hole. freeze at this rate. Where have they gone now? Did you kill them? Well, there's two of them. Where's the other guy? Somebody's gone. <laughs> Where has he gone? There he is. What are you doing? Come on. <sighs> nope, not that way. Such a bright bunch of individuals. Clearly they were sent for their intellectual power. 
Okay, what am I missing? I am missing something. This is probably infuriating to watch, so I apologise. Nothing in the helicopter, by the look of it. So, something indoors, maybe, that I'm missing. Door just slams in his face. I hate this mission. We can't, we can't get out there. Nope. I've got to be missing something. Well, I think what I might do is end this particular episode here. Because I don't want you guys to be absolutely bored out of your minds just watching me run around trying to figure out what to do next. Ah! Uh, nope, that didn't help. Um... So don't touch it, basically. Yep, we already know this. Ah, adrenaline hypo. When squad members are suffering from extreme stress, using an adrenaline hypo on them will calm them down. You, to use the adrenaline hypo, L1, inventory. Okay, so choose the hypo. Stick it in the jugular. They'll be so laid back that they'll be horizontal. Okay. Um, approach the squad member. Shove it in them. Yeah, so you need to get them out of there, basically. Okay, so none of them appear to be worried at the moment. But I'm still missing something. So what am I missing? It's got to be something dead obvious that I'm missing here. Something that I haven't picked up, or haven't washed my hands in the sink maybe, or I don't know. I'm missing something. The electrical boxes are all dealt with. What am I missing? What was that? Somebody turn a tap on or something? I distinctly heard liquid. What are you doing? I'm still not convinced that that guy's dead. I don't think he's dead yet. Well, as I said just now, before things livened up slightly with the amazing discovery of a couple of notes, I think I'll end this episode here. I may actually do a little bit of a time warp for the next episode just so that you guys don't have to watch me bumbling around trying to find out what I'm looking for next. So, I hope you found this interesting, and as always, thanks for watching.